Hey, what's up guys? So that just changed it again. This thing is constantly changing guys. It's an evolving process. Remember on Monday they said you had to file a tax return, even a simple one, if you're a social security recipient or low income. So they came out yesterday, not even yesterday, last night after some backlash and some pressure from members of Congress, they came out last night and said, it, okay, if you're a senior or anyone who's receiving social security benefits, you do not have to file a tax return. They will use the information they already have in file to send you your money or if you don't, they'll send you a check. So, brand new today, literally an hour ago, as of six o'clock today, April 2nd, here are the changes. If you're a social security recipient, you still do not have to file a tax return to get your uh, stimulus check. Now, if you do not have an account and file with them, they will be putting a portal within two days so you can enter that information. The secretary said, and I'm quoting here, we do not want to send checks to people. We want to get the money to them as soon as possible. And somebody asked, what if you don't have a bank account? He stated, we will be working with the credit card companies, debit card companies, to send people that money as quickly as possible. So what does that mean? If you currently file your taxes electronically, you get your money direct deposited to your account, you don't have to do anything, you don't have to worry about it. If you don't, in two days, according to the secretary, they will be setting up a portal where you can enter your banking account information. And for those of you who do not have a bank account, according to what he said, the secretary said, they will be working with card companies to maybe send you a debit card with the money on it as soon as possible. Because his word again, we want to get that money to you as quickly as possible. If they absolutely have to send out a check, the first check will not be coming out until the first week of May. So their goal is to start getting the money out the week of April 13, which is a week and a half from now. So third update, guys. As of tomorrow, April 3rd, you can go to your local FDIC and shoot bank and your local credit union to apply for the PPE, that's the Paycheck Protection Program. Not to be confused with the Economic Disaster Loan, which you can apply for right now on the SBA website. According to the secretary, you should be able to get that money the same day that you apply for it. So if you go tomorrow, you should be able to get that money tomorrow. I just got an email from Chase stating that uh, save time, go online, you can apply for the PPE online. So check with your specific bank, you probably won't even have to, do, to go to the branch. You can do this online and according to what the secretary just said, you apply for it, you get the money the same day. Anyway guys, I hope this was helpful. Please like and share this video so more people can watch it. And uh, I'm pretty sure this won't change again tomorrow because this thing is constantly moving. And uh, if they have anything new, I'll bring it to you as soon as I can. As always, guys, thank you again for watching. If this is your first time here, my name is Paul with Sunset Realty, and I would love to have you as a subscriber. So please subscribe so you don't miss any of my next videos. Thanks, and stay safe, guys.